get until her cloud gets hacked again. Uh, what else? Today is Aretha Franklin's birthday. Yeah, she's 73. Triple J. Large individual. <laughs> Speaking of super tankers, they take a long time to turn around.
Well, tell me I'm wrong to be singing about slut shame, but a slut should be ashamed. That's how that slut got that slut name. Beyonce dated a guy, then got married, then had a baby. Do you think that Beyonce had a point? Well, maybe, just maybe. Being a skank, it's a lifestyle choice, and we all can agree on a woman's right to choose. But I, too, choose to reserve the right to say, hey, bitch, you're much too loose. Hey, bitch, my junk is pristine, and I'm saving my junk for a queen. Hey, bitch, just take it away. I don't ever want none of your STDs. And you know if I'm sounding judgmental, well, that's just because I am. Rather than lay with a skank like you, I'd rather take my right hand. Put your hands up if you're living like me. Put your hands up if you ain't got no STDs. Fuck a bitch, I ain't gonna fuck you, bitch, cause I won't fuck a bitch with an STD. Fuck a bitch, I ain't gonna fuck you, bitch, cause I won't fuck a bitch with an STD. Fuck a bitch, I ain't gonna fuck you, bitch, cause I won't fuck a bitch with an STD. No bitches with STDs. No bitches with STDs. So put your hands with the Go ahead, favorite the show, and enjoy AD on the go. iHeartRadio presents AD. Alrighty then. <sighs> like we said about uh, Ted Cruz announcing his presidency, there are two groups of people that are extremely stoked about this. There are the uh, libertari- libertarian Tea Party types. And uh, there are late night, late night television comedy writers. Senator Ted Cruz, here's the latest, is running for president and he says he wants to abolish the IRS. Yeah. 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 So today, Cruz was endorsed by Nicolas Cage, Wesley Snipes and Willie Nelson. (laughs) They're solidly in his corner. (laughs) Uh, I don't know. Abolish the IRS. Totally in favor of that. But, you know, one has to pay taxes. We do. It's part of living in America. Taxes have to be collected. A lot of them unfairly. The IRS are jackbooted thugs that target specific political groups. They have an agenda and uh, uh, they really don't care. I owed money to the IRS at one point. I was a punk rock kid in a band, got handed a million dollar check by a record label, had uh, Bruce Springsteen's accountant look after my finances, found that the accountant a couple years down the line was too busy looking after old Bruce's money to pay my taxes. And I'd owed something like twenty five hundred dollars in taxes. Well, you add that uh, you add fees and interest to that over a couple years and that becomes like fifteen thousand dollars. And all of a sudden I was a twenty one, twenty one, twenty one, twenty two year old kid with a fifteen thousand dollar tax set. A twenty two year old doesn't have fifteen grand. No, they don't. And uh, the IRS was like, hmm, well, you appear to have impeccable credit. Why don't you just open up a credit card and pay us off with that? Really? This is what you're doing to collect your money? Biatch. You're encouraging the youth of America to go into debt from under which they will never crawl out? Yeah, F you. And uh, I wound up getting tax advice from a tax pro and... Wound up paying the IRS uh, 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 exactly what I owed them in the first place. But they're only too happy to destroy your future so they can collect. And you know what? As it turns out, I didn't wind up paying them $15,000. I paid them like $2,500. Again, an amount that I don't feel bad about because it was the amount that I owed in the first place. And it was incredible how that number could be melted away. With the help of someone who knew the ins and outs of tax laws. Now, the IRS are draconian jackbooted thugs with horrific practices that are sending America directly down the financial toilet. Nevertheless, I don't think you can do away with the IRS. And it's that sort of incendiary sweeping rhetoric that you're going to hear a lot of during... uh, (laughs) <laughs> during the run-up to the election. If I'm elected president, I'm going to make the IRS go away. Y'all hate the IRS, right? Yeah. But don't we need the IRS? Did you know the IRS kicks puppies on a regular basis? Well, I guess you got my vote. Oh, it's the grandiose, not down-to-earth speech necessary to get people's attention at election time that I think ruins everything. Because you have these humongous expectations, no matter who it is you're voting for. And then, you know, of course they can't deliver on something like that. And then you go, hey, you lied to me. And they're like, sorry, I had to lie to you to get elected. Bit of a broken system. Anyways, I digress. Funkhauser, what else is going on in the news today? Oh, just so much stuff. 
just a plethora of information. A plethora. Wait, did, did, did you learn the word plethora the way I, I like learned the word, word plethora? No. How did yeah, you but, learn it? Uh, from the Three Amigos. Oh, no. Huh? You've never seen that movie? Oh, it's been a minute, and I've probably only seen I- it once. El Guapo, the big bad guy in Three Amigos, the uh, the Mexican bandito that would probably be deemed humongously racist if the movie came out in this day and age. El Guapo, the bandito, has a birthday party, and he's asking, do I have uh, everything set up for my birthday party? And his, uh, his sidekick goes, yeah, 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 you do. He's like, do I have piñatas? He's like, oh, you have so many piñatas. He's like, would you say I have a plethora of piñatas? And he goes, a plethora? He's like, yes, a plethora. He's like, oh, yeah, you definitely have a plethora. He's like, really? You know, I don't know if you know what that word means. And I would hate to uh, think that a person was telling me I have a plethora of something when they don't know what a plethora is. Be careful, then, you because you, if you say that word one more time, it's not going to make any sense to me. You know, plethora? that's one of those words that uh, after, when you say it a whole bunch of times, it's like, that word sounds, that's a funny word. It doesn't yeah, make any sense anymore. <laughs> I, I'm glad I'm not the only person that does that. That says words and then says them over and over again and be like, it's a stupid word. Plethora. It's a funny word. Plethora. But yeah, that's what that's where I learned the word plethora. And uh, the vast majority of the people that saw Three Amigos when they were a kid, that's where they learned plethora too. You just, you know, I have a large it. vocabulary. You probably, did you like knock it out of the park on your SATs? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, just like bowling. I scored right down the middle. Right, yeah. <laughs> Wildly average. Yes. That's okay. I, 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 I didn't really, I don't think I did my SATs. I don't think that was a, a thing. I don't huh? recall. I don't think I did my SATs. I don't think that was a, that was a thing. Maybe I did. I can't, I can't even remember. Everybody had to do SATs. I thought everybody did, but maybe they called mine something different. Something weird, like standardized testing. I scored incredibly high on my SATs, like like next level high, uh, apparently. Not perfect, but next level high. How many questions and, uh, did you answers did you write on your palm? Um, well, it's you know it's multiple choice, so th- there was no. Uh, was there an essay in the verbal? I can't remember. I I, I really don't even remember. But I do know that. Um, when time was running out, the questions I hadn't got to, I just made, you know how you had those little ovals you had to fill in with your pencil? I just made designs on that that I liked <laughs> because I was like, ah, I'm never going to get to these. Did you and, draw the um, Stussy logo in it? I No, there was no logo, but I just, you know, like I'm obsessive compulsive, so I just put the, uh, I filled out the ovals that would please my... Uh, <laughs> Please, my OCD, and uh, I guess whoever um, whoever is coming up with the answers for the SATs was also obsessive compulsive because uh, our, our vision of what that of what that sheet should look like matched up, and I like scored really high, sheerly by fluke, I think, and and wound up uh, getting one of those national merit scholarship things, which uh, I then didn't use, much to the chagrin of my parents. There's another good SAT word: chagrin. 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 Go on, what else? Oh, man. <laughs> Boy, we've gotten through exactly none of the news today. The X-Files I'm trying is, uh, to get back into my Facebook page. It's yeah, asking yeah. me to identify pictures of someone, and the pictures they're giving me are a tattoo, an e-card, and a baby. How am I supposed to deal with that? It's you and the senorita Whoop a blowing up the tweeter Cause it's me up in the speaker Back in the mama seat top down like a player And the sound up in your visit Is the dopest rhyme say I run a game like a cheater I'm balling like they're a cheater Complete on the marathon I mean the very last meter Competition defeater Cause yo my voice is just sweet So come on follow the leader Plus I got the dopest of sneakers Fuck the rest I'm the best There's no question Fuck the rest and you know Fuck the rest I'm the best There's no question I am ready to go One Nobody has ever been better, smarter, more clever I'm winning every endeavor in competition No, you never see a better competitor Every 